People in northeastern Kelloland have a brand new place to buy groceries. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Kelly Vogue takes you inside and explains how a passion for the grocery business has been passed down through the generations. Brandon Behrens grew up in the grocery store. In fact, this is a picture of him as a young boy arranging food on the shelves. Officially, I think I was on the payroll at like 14 or something like that. Brandon never grew out of his love for the grocery business, despite his father's warning. My dad always told me growing up that you don't want to be in the grocery business. It takes all your time. Your net, it's all this and that. Today, he's a third generation owner of Barron's Market in Millbank. Brandon's grandparents started the family business as a roller skating rink back in the 70s. And that lasted about two years because not everybody needed to go roller skating apparently, but everybody needs to buy groceries. So they decided to open a grocery store in it. Brandon and his wife bought the store from his parents and aunt and uncle a couple years ago. In 2022, Barron's Market purchased another longtime grocery store in town, Hartman's Family Foods. They were great to work with when we did that, too. That store was closed down after it was purchased as planned. Just weeks ago, Barron's Market opened the doors on its brand new 33,000 square foot grocery store. The building is about 9,000 square feet bigger than its original location. Brandon says the larger store features an expanded produce section, a bakery, and a deli. Well, the community of Millbank just really draws a lot from the surrounding area. And our old building was starting to get run down and tired, so we had to kind of decide if we were going to build something new or if we are going to remodel. And uh, we just figured after looking at it all that building new was the right answer. And sure, there's bigger towns closer by, 45 miles away is Watertown, but the people in Millbank just love to stay here in town, shop local, and that's what makes this happen. Customers like Minnesota shopper Amy Larson are impressed with the new store. Night and day. <laughs> it's clean, fresh, um, exciting. The new store comes as more people are calling Millbank home. Mayor Pat Rafferty says according to the census, the town added more residents between 2010 and 2020. We're going in the right way and, and we continue to see new development, more housing getting added, more jobs being created, so definitely going in the right direction. Bob is proud to see the family business staying alive in Millbank. State of the art. It's going to be around a long time. So I'm, I'm very proud. In fact, there may be fourth generation grocers in the family. I got two boys that I hope they can do the same thing that I'm doing. Because um, it, it's, a, it's a rewarding job, you know, it's for the people. Yeah, it's very rewarding to be in the grocery business. With Ion Kelloland, I'm Kelly Volk. I know a lot of people up there probably stop in there weekly. A couple from Minnesota are also partners in the new store. Brandon says that the plan is to sell both the former Barron's Market building and the other store building that they bought.